Hello everyone, welcome to psvideotut.com. This is Felix Rodriguez and today I'm going to teach you how to take five photos and combine them. So it sort of looks like you have clones. You have to make sure you have five photos that was taken by still camera and none of the objects removed in order for this work. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Here are my five photos. You have the guy on the phone, the guy on the radio, the artist, the bodyguard, and the boss. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to make a duplicate of all of them. Highlight all of them and duplicate there. And we're going to leave the original ones in a folder. That way we can go back to them for reference. We're going to make three of the top ones invisible and work on the last two layers. What we're going to do is, we're going to take the selection tool and pretty much go over the bodyguard. Then we're going to go layer via copy. What this does is just make a copy of the selected section. And then what we're going to do is make the layer below it invisible so we just have the layer via copy and the, the boss layer and as you can see it looks like he fits right in but you can also notice that he doesn't belong there because that box is like a different color from the from the boss layer so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pen tool and highlight just him and delete everything around him so you do you take the pen tool, you click, and then you click again, and then you stretch it so it makes that nice loop that will highlight your person nicely and smoothly. I'm going to fast forward this just to save video time, but you get the idea. And when you finish the path of your pen tool, what you do is you right click and you put make selection. And then you click the selection tool. Right there. And you delete. Oops, I put inverse by accident. Then you delete. And as you can see, it just blends with the other photo better. But what we can also do is we can um, take the eraser. We can take the eraser tool and also erase what's around it. But what we're going to do is put uh, soft edges on the eraser. So make sure the hardness of your eraser is zero. And we're going to go and race. That seems pretty good. It's not perfect, but you know, it'll do. Um, next, we're going to add the third person, which is the, the music artist. Um, pretty much the same process. What you do is you go ahead, take the selection tool. After you multiply, you go to the blend mode multiply so you can see where he stands against the other people. And you take the selection tool and select them. And you put via copy layer that's via copy layer so you right click it's right there and then you make the layer that you copied from invisible and you just repeat the process put the blend mode back to normal and you do what you did before with the bodyguard just start erasing grab that pen tool
I mean, this whole thing is like sort of a long process, a little annoying, but the end results are nice. So just got to deal with it. Um, what the eraser does is just makes it easier for it to blend because it has the soft edges. So everything doesn't have to be perfect. And add the fourth person, the guy with the radio. Same process, you multiply, you grab the selection tool, and you select over him. Just gotta make sure you select every part of his body though. Make sure his whole body is in that selection tool. And then you right click, layer via copy, make the layer that you copied it from invisible, put the blend mode back to normal, and then grab that eraser tool and start erasing or the pen tool. The lighting between him and the rest of the image seems pretty similar, so there's not much work for him that we have to do. Yeah, we're pretty much done with him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the, the last guy. The guy that's just sort of there. Same process. You multiply. Grab the selection tool. Make a copy of him. Hold up. There you go. Right click, layer via copy, put the multiply mode back to normal, and make the layer you copied from invisible. I'm sorry that I'm being repetitive, but this is how you do it. And you grab that eraser with the soft edges and you erase. So after you erase, you select all the clips that you want to keep and you merge them together. And after that, we're pretty much done. All these, well, same person is in the picture five times. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and mess with the, with the coloring here. I'm going to lower down the saturation, which takes away a lot of the color of the photo, which makes it a more darker photo, at least in my opinion. And I'm going to heighten the contrast. What I'm going to also do is take the selection tool and select the parts of the photo that I want, because as you can see, the guy in the phone is cut out. Um, the guy sitting down, his part of his shoe is cut out, so I'm going to just select that. and make that the photo and delete everything that's outside of it and the way I'm gonna cover up by doing this is I'm gonna add a layer take the brush make it black and then have like this black border around the photo so I'm gonna create a new layer fill it black take that brush and go around the edges just like right outside that way it gives the soft touch around it. Well, and I'm gonna play with the color a little bit just to make it more dramatic. But this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to visit psvideotut.com for more video tutorials. Um, so yeah, enjoy. Peace and love. Felix Rodriguez, over and out.